that today's tip is all about sketching and making it super fast and efficient. So we always want to be on zero, zero. So I will use a few horizontal and vertical constraints to lock this rectangle in place. Then I'll add a few additional pieces of geometry. And now I'm gonna overlay a rectangle in the upper right hand corner here. I could have drawn the exterior profile this way, but what I wanna do is use the trim command to quickly create that geometry. And the way the trim command works is it just gets rid of anything that is crossing and it's inferred. So if you happen to wanna to trim something that isn't touching, it will do inferred trimming. Once you have your sketch drawn, the next thing you wanna check out is automatic dimensioning. This is a super fast way to fully dimension and constrain your geometry. It may not constrain it or dimension it the exact way that you want it, but let's say you're doing some conceptual sketching or designing. This is a quick way to lock it down and have a fully constrained sketch. After you've created all these dimensions now, you can go in and change these to what's called driven. This is a neat way to work with your sketches where the geometry is dimensioned, but you can manipulate it and move it around. The driven dimensions show you the location of that dimension. It doesn't actually dictate the location or size. It just shows you the value. So if you're doing, again, anything conceptually, this is a super fast way to do that. And you can change those dimensions at any point in time. When you're all done, simply extrude your geometry and you're ready to go.